Hi guys, in this session we're going to be covering um, equations of tangents and normals in conics. I'm going to revise some year 12 stuff first before moving on to the year 13th uh, work, so let's get started. So in year 12 you would have been used to find the tangent at 416 to the parabola y equals x squared. So for y equals x squared, the first thing you would do is find the difference, differentiated function, which is 2x and try and figure out what the gradient is at 4. In this case, the gradient is going to be 8. Once you have that, you have your straight line equation, and it's just a matter of substituting all these numbers. So 16 is going to be a y value, m is 8, and x is, well, x1 is actually 4. Expanding this out, you have 8x minus 32, and of course, you can leave it like this or rearrange it, but rearrange formula would be 8x minus 16. So this is the equation of the tangent at point 416 for the parabola y equals x squared. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yes, I know. Unfortunately, conics are not functions, um, and they need implicit differentiation. Now, this is a new concept to you, to you guys, so... I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do a, a basic implicit differentiation and then we're going to go from there. But don't worry too much if we don't understand. I mean, you can always ask me in class, but um, also you'll be doing this um, at a later stage in differentiation topic as well. So if you want to differentiate this function here, we go about differentiating x just the normal way as we normally do. So when you differentiate x squared, you're going to get 2x. And when you differentiate y squared, this is where the trick part happens. So you almost treat it like um, just a normal function. So this will be 2y, but you add a dy dx next to it. And when you differentiate 25, you get 0. And now it's just a matter of rearranging things. So you're going to have 2y dy dx, and that's going to equal negative 2x. And if you simplify this, you will simply end up with negative x over y, because it, the 2 is, well, 2 divided by 2 is just 1. Okay, now, moving on to a question based on this. Here's a question. Write the equation of the tangent at the point 3, 4 to the circle given by the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. So, the first thing we want to do is we're going to differentiate the conic. So, like I did in the previous example, as I showed you before, x squared will become 2x, y squared will become 2y dy dx, and 25 would become 0. So simplifying this, dy dx equals negative x divided by y. So now that we have that, we're actually going to try and figure out what's the gradient at that point. So to do that, the gradient at 3, 4, dy dx is equal to negative x over y from, from what we found before. And we just need to replace these letters with the numbers. So we're going to get negative 3 divided by positive 4. So this is now gradient or m. So now we have a point uh, and we have a gradient. So we can go with our equation of a straight line formula. Replacing everything, we're going to get y minus 4 equals negative 3 over 4 multiplied by x minus 3. And if we rearrange this, we would get 4y minus 16 equals negative 3 plus 9. Or we could just leave it in this form. 4y plus 3x minus 25. Now guys, don't panic if you don't have the same answer as this in the back of your books because, you know, at the end of the day, this equation could be written in, in many ways. So as long as you have one of the ways correct, that's the most important thing. Okay, so that's how you figure out equation of the tangent. Now we're going to look at equation of the normal. So still working with the same question in the previous slide, but this time um, we want to find the equation of the normal at the point 3, 4, and with the same circle. What we did find out was, um, actually what we know from previous year, is that for equation for normal, 
to a tangent is negative 1 over m. And since dy dx was negative 3 over 4, the gradient of the normal should be 4 over 3. And now it's just basically back to the straight line equation because we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have our point, which is 3, 4, and we have a gradient, which is 4, 3. So there's our 4. Our gradient is 4 thirds. And our value of x is just 3. And rearranging everything, we're going to get 3y minus 12 equals 4x minus 12. And if you want to simplify this, you're going to end up with y equals to 4x divided by 3. And that's basically it. And the so with implicit differentiation, you're going to need it for circles, you're going to need it for ellipses, you're going to need it for hyperbolas and parabolas. So just you just got to remember when you do implicit differentiation that when you differentiate y, you've got to chuck in the dy dx. All right, guys, that's all from this session. Uh, yeah, until next time.